Hey everyone, my name is Monkey Shrapnel from the Guys to Guys Who Play Games, back with some more Donkey Kong Country 2. And we're gonna use this free plane I bought last episode. And as you can see, no money, and we're down to five lives as well. So yeah, fun on, fun on the bun, you know how that works. Anyways, we're in Hothead Bop. First thing we're gonna do is pick up this really dark chest that's kinda hard to see, and get a nice uh, pair of lives. Okay, and then we're just gonna jump around. This level's pretty... I mean, it's called Hothead Buff, so what do you think you do? You just kinda jump off these crocodile heads? I always thought these crocodile heads look pretty silly. I... Plus, when you think about it, it's like they're in lava. It's kinda weird. But, you know, whatever. Who cares? Crocodiles are resilient to lava, isn't that right? This is lava, right? Actually, where are we? Would this count as magma? I'm pretty sure this counts as lava, but I don't know where we are exactly. I, I guess we're inside a volcano, but I don't, I don't know the logistics of that. Regardless, we're picking up a big cannonball. We're gonna toss at this dude, and then we're gonna go woo, but I don't wanna do woo yet. I wanna... I wanna pick up this chest first and get some bananas. Now we're gonna go woo into the sky. Hey, there we go! Finally, collect the stars! Boom. And inside this bonus room area, because of the way the music's loaded, there's no echo on these uh, crocodile heads, which is funny. Because if you don't know, the echo that you get from them is based on, like, the way the sound effects loaded into the music. That's kind of the general stick of these games. You'd be surprised. Anyways, you can see it press shows Y there, so you press Y, and you shoot at these webs, because Squid is, you know, Squid is a spider, he's got shoes. You can see it says press A here, so you press A and you just make a platform web. You have to press A twice though. You can also use L and R, which is what I usually use because it's much easier because that way you can just go like this. And if you do your platform webs right back where it says to press Y, bada bing bada boom, you got your DK coin. Ain't that sweet? And yeah, Squitter's webs are really powerful because like you can just like spray them all over the screen. Squitter can't jump on stuff, he's like expresso in that regard, but like, yeah. Also, when you're on a crocodile head like this, you can't actually do anything, so you have to just kind of keep going. Uh, I guess while we're here, I'll quickly show off a funny little glitch. So, when when Squitter lands on the crocodile head, interestingly enough, I guess you can you can land on it even though it's a sprite, which is interesting. Because a lot of times, uh, if you've known anything about Super Mario World, sometimes sprite platforms don't actually work for other sprites. But in this case, you can, and you can actually. And it triggers you bouncing off the thing again, which is kind of cool. Because basically it only checks... It simply checks for something to be landing on, and then just applies jump momentum to you. Not necessarily to whatever lands on it. And we're going to find the token, and in this find the token, you, you just go up. Oh, shoot. And then we run off to the screen to the sky. Woo. And actually, funny enough, that bonus shows you exactly where all this stuff up here is, so do that. So those cannons up there will take you to the other side, or if you have Squitter, you can go across and get some delicious, delicious money. And I need lots of money, because I have to buy stuff. <laughs> I might actually have to grind a little bit of coins, depending on uh, how many coins I end up getting. Hopefully that shouldn't be an issue, but there are a lot of things to buy, surprisingly enough. But there's lots of easy places to get coins, so it's not a big deal, honestly. Anyways, once again, you just go across a small gap and bada bing bada boom, you got Squitter the Spider and his magical coins of wonderment. And you already know Squitter sign, bada bing bada boom. I've been saying bada bing bada boom a lot, huh? I don't know why. Alright, we got more money. And funny enough, in this particular, in this uh, area, Diddy gets a sweet echo on his little boombox singing, which I always thought was funny. So, two areas have opened up. Obviously, the way over there is to uh, the next level, but over here, we've got Clubba's Kiosk. This is where you spend your coins. Where's your land? Lower's name's Club on a grassy bridge. You're gonna cost you many pieces of weight. Hoo hoo. And if you don't pay up, I'll run you through like the scurvy dogs you are. Ha ha. It costs 15 carbon coins to cross over, mateys. And we don't actually have that. 
But yeah, this is what you you pay to get um you pay your coins here and you get access to secret levels basically or I guess bonus levels, extra levels, additional content, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> he has a lot of things to say. Try that again in his Davy Jones locker for Yahar. You'll taste me club if you don't get some more. Oh, I guess he doesn't say as much as that. And you can also, just for fun, you can choose to fight him. And he just whacks you. You must be joking. <laughs> I always love that option. It's The funny thing is that option is actually faster than walking away, I think. So that's like usually when you want to pick. We got Swanky's bonus bonanza. Actually... How many coins do I have? Five. Well, I'll, I'll save up for a sec here. See you next week! And I was gonna own the cannon's claim. Oh yeah, I should show off the warp belt. Well, I'll show that off after. It really doesn't matter. It takes like a minute. So, right off the bat, you can see there's an arrow here. So what you wanna do is switch to Dixie and just float across. And we got more. Find the token! So I'm... I'm just... I'll just go. I'm just gonna go. I'll show something off later, but for now we're just gonna go. So there's a lot of Dixie barrels here, but you know, these are like calling specific barrels, so you're normally supposed to switch, but you can also just team toss them in. And the, the funny thing is, the way those barrels are set up, uh, they keep your colors. So like normally, like the active Kong is bright and the non-active one is dark, and it's like that for um, kind of to make it easier to tell who you're playing as. But funny enough. Uh, those barrels kind of remember and save that. So if you switch while you're in front of those barrels, you keep your coloring, which is the only way to naturally play as a differently colored Kong. Which is, I don't know. It's, it's I think it's funny. I, it, it's one of those weird things. Where it's not really a glitch. It's just kind of like a funny quirk. Anyways, this level's gimmick, if you can't tell, barrels. You just shoot through these barrels a whole lot. Get that K. Yeah, even these dudes are shooting barrels at you, eh? I didn't even think about that. Anyways, jump across this dragonfly over here. There's no bonuses over here, but there's just sweet banana coin and a bunch of bananas. Pretty nice. Boom. These barrels can get a bit taking get uh, a bit of getting used to because uh oh, let me put that down actually. So in this game, TNT barrels don't actually explode if you put them down after picking them up, which is nice. Um, so you want to use this guy to get this Oh, here, and now you want to pick up the barrel and blow him up. Get faceted! I don't know what faceted means, but for some reason I decided to use that word. Oh, that guy shoots a cannonball at you. You can't jump on those. Cannonballs, those are bad. Oh, what did I do? Oh, uh, that's, uh, yeah. So, if you, this is the funny thing about vertical levels. If you fall down... Uh, you're gonna be falling for a while, depending on where the land is. I actually completely figured out where the land was. So that's bad. Anyways. As, as, um, this game's general theme, you might not have realized this, but generally speaking, uh, when you come across- Oh shit, that's 100% once again my fault. I don't know why I just walked off. You should probably just toss your bell at him. But yeah, there's a coin there. And you can jump off this vulture to get a DK barrel. And I believe, you can see there's a bonus there. Actually, you can just jump at that, but... I believe the intention is for you to use the vulture, but you can totally just jump to it, I think, actually. Which is kind of funny. Anyways, find the token. So this token is just... This is one of the few barrel, or I guess minigame rooms, where there's actually like some sort of rewards to get, other than just uh, getting the token. You can actually get a couple bananas here and there. It's not much, but it... It's kind of interesting that it's kind of sparse and they're still kind of in the game, you know? Just a fun little fact, I guess. Alright, so... But yeah, like I was saying earlier, like, the rule of this game is that generally all you really have to do is just kind of... Oh, where'd that TNT barrel go? It was easier to throw it than to hit him, but whatever. So the general rule is that, like, as you can see here, all you really have to do is just kind of keep going. And if you know it's there, then, like, it's, like, you can just kind of blaze past it and you'll be safe almost every time. I think there are some instances where it won't, but those are usually very obvious. Oof. But yeah, as you can see here, I'm not playing as a Dark Diddy.
But yeah, you can see that banana. There indicates that there's a guy that will shoot, and he can jump across using his barrel to get another mini game, bonus game, whatever you want to call it. I almost messed up that jump. I jumped way too early. Thankfully, this game's quite uh, lenient with its hitboxes on jumping on stuff. As long as you're like already in the animation of jumping, or like bouncing off stuff, you're doing the little like somersault in the air, and that should be the G. You'll generally be pretty free. Oh, I wanted the bananas. Or, the coin. If you want the coin, you gotta jump off from actually really late. Uh, I guess if you really want to, you can metagame it by just hanging back. But yeah, as you can see, we don't have the DK coin, so I'll show that off in just a sec where it is. But first of all, I'm gonna show off the, the warp barrel in this level right up here. So you toss up here. I'm gonna quickly toss this over here just to get some lives. Get out of here, give me them juicy two ups. It's a good life farming spot because it's two lives just like that. So you go up here, jump to the very edge of the screen, and you just toss your buddy up. And bada bing, bada boom, you're already at the end of the level. And get another banana coin. That's. I didn't even realize it, but showing up these war bells is good for getting coins quickly, which is pretty nice. Do 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 do. In case you haven't noticed by now, each um, area, like every level has like a unique theme based on the archetype. So lava area, every lava area has Diddy singing in that kind of tone. Uh, first, <coughs> well before we show off Swanky, I'll show off the DK coin and the bonus. So, bo the bo bonus warp, you know what I mean. So the DK coin, we went through the whole level and we didn't really see anything obvious. So. If you decide, okay, I've looked through the whole level, where else could it be? And decide, finally, that, hmm, maybe there was that suspicious thing, because this bonus game is quite a bit abnormal. I mean, it has a DK barrel, but I mean, the DK barrel is there because of the barrels, so that's obvious. But, right at the start, there's just this big gap, and you can see that there's something on the other side. And if you fly over there, bing! DK coin inside the bonus game. Isn't that cool? I always thought that was one of like the smartest DK coins in the whole game. It's just very like interesting and like it's just a smart spot to put it I think. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can get funny things to happen with your little partner Kong in reserve if you like mess around with them during like hitboxes and like do weird stuff. And a uh, funny thing to note is that when you grab those coins there's actually a I think like a couple frames, well I think, there definitely is like uh, some frames when the game hasn't like locked your controls yet. And they're just under there. Ooh, I almost got hurt. If you get hit uh, while you're bouncing up from that, it, I believe it actually hurts you. Although that might vary from warp to warp. It's kind of weird. Oh wow, that's perfectly timed. That's funny. Uh, what was I talking about? But yeah, there's a couple frames when you collect the coin that it, it doesn't lock your controls. So you can actually, um, like, pause and, like, start select out of the level. It's actually, like, used in speedrunning. I believe in, like, any percents, they just, like, warp out of the level. Or, what is it? Well, in some 100% runs, actually, because in any percent, they wouldn't care. Video game heroes, you say? That's great. We're video game heroes for a living. What's the name of the first level level in the first area of the island? Hothead Hop. What's the next round? What's the name of the area of this island? Uh, Crocodile Cauldron. Well, how many times did you have to hit the head of the giant area bird? Of the end of the area, giant bird to kill him. Four times. This ain't no Mario game. It's not just multiples of three every time. Lucky Lava. What colors were the Cardinal heads you jumped on the first lava level? Uh, I always, for some reason, I always end up thinking of these guys as red, but I know that, um, obviously it's not red and blue. It's, they're brown. Green and brown. Here we go, answer. Um, here we go again. Good answer. Fuck, I can't read. The reason why they look brown is just because the lava is red, so it kind of makes them not look as red because they're on a super bright red. What's an extra life's balloon colored red worth? One life. Okay, try this one. Exclude the end of area boss. How many levels were there in the first area of the island? Well, that's... just count them up. So there's Pirate Panic, Main Brace Mayhem, Lockjaw's Locker, Gangplank Galleon, and the thing, so five. Alright, don't screw this one up, otherwise I have to grind some coins. How many banana bunches would you have to collect to get an extra life? Uh, ten. 
That's correct, here's the next one. What did the beetle, when did the beetle first appear during the first area of the island? Delivered in level two. Finally, what is the name of Diddy's ponytailed girlfriend? If I haven't mentioned it already, which I might not have, it's Dixie. I think she's like the only one whose name doesn't end with a Y, actually, but it kind of ends with a Y, it ends with an IE, which is commonly sounds like Y, and she has the X too. Her name's kind of interesting, I guess, given how much it stands out from us. But anyways, Lava Lagoon, we got our third level here. This level's gimmick is this, well, the water's hot, in case you didn't realize it's a Lava Lagoon. And what we've got here, we've got our animal buddy here, Claptrap, and if you jump on him, he lowers the lava level. Or he, well, he weakens the lava. Anyways, little hidden wall here, you go through there, you get two coins. Want to jump on him again, just to make sure he doesn't uh, make it hot again. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is. It's just a do, in case you don't want to deal with the gimmick, the level for some reason. That's the phone ringing. I couldn't care less because every time I ever check the damn phone, it's stupid long distance crap. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna switch to Diddy here because just because of the hitboxes. So yeah, uh, if you wanna you wanna be careful because basically the lava is only cold for a little bit. So if you're not fast enough, uh, you can get hurt. I guess that's another interesting detail actually I want to bring up. So if you're Diddy and you swim to the top of an object. You can see that Diddy goes almost entirely into it, so his hitbox is actually quite small at the top of things. But Dixie, on the other hand, actually doesn't go as high despite the fact that she's thinner. So her hitbox, despite being thinner, actually goes down lower uh, when you're swimming into the top of objects. Once again, not a huge thing, but it does make a difference. Like earlier, I think I have actually would have pretty much gotten hit if I was Dixie. So from this cannon, if you go left right off the bat, you get a little secret area, and there's a banana coin. Lots of banana coins hidden in these levels, I'm not too surprised. Uh, so from here, there's lots of little places to get coins. Or, I guess, bananas. Funny how that works. I'm uh, calling them coins. Uh, whatever. So yeah, you can see up here, there's a little exclamation point barrel. You jump up there. That's, I guess that's actually my good indication that Diddy jumps higher. Dixie can't make that jump. You have to kind of do some awkward uh, jumping around to get to it. Now the banana coin, wow, there's a lot of these. Maybe I won't have to worry about coins as much as I thought I would. And yeah, from here, you get the mint coin. If you go back to the right, there's just a couple extra coins. Really nice. Jump off this dude. Bomb. Um, actually, is there anything up here? This looks like such a primo spot to hide, like, a secret item, but no, there's nothing. Anyways, here, once again, hidden wall. You get end guard. End guard is excellent for this part because you basically don't have to care about any of the enemies. Anything hidden here? No? Okay. You have to actually jump off anger. I think that's the first time you have to actually manually jump off an enemy. Like an animal body. Because the water doesn't go high enough. Anyways, I'm going to try to collect all the coins here. As fast as I can. I'm actually going to go back. Quickly. So if you try to hit... Oh. The, maybe that depends on the version of the game. I didn't even think about that. I think in different versions of the game, whether you hit animal buddy or not while riding another animal buddy will actually hurt you in some instances so i'm going to avoid collecting that end because uh if you go through this hidden wall here and go all the way up to the top there's uh some hidden stuff two banana coins and the letter n and you go in this barrel and you drop down here and Nangar goes really fast for some reason so there's a hidden wall there but if you're cute like me you like I was a little scared there for a second. I was like, oh shit, did I just fuck up? But no. We're gonna get, you can break that wall with the cricket. Or I guess the beetle. Yeah, it's a beetle. And what does this take us? It takes us to an end guard area where you want to whack stuff, basically. We can use our supercharge to go super fast. Although not here, because you're going down a lot, so there's no point. So you want to, once again, you want to be careful because end guard's hitbox doesn't become an attacking hitbox until he, he actually starts swinging so when he's reeling back and you and if an enemy touches you while he's reeling back it will actually hurt you so you want to be careful about that boom so there's bananas here there's a lot of like this is kind of why i like this game because in this era there's lots of like just little things hidden on the sides of levels wow that was bad let's go back 
Imagine I get I, I lose my first life here because I'm getting greedy. So you can see there's bananas there. I'm not collecting them. Fuck it. I'm already like risking my life. Go fast, go fast. And then you go down here, you get the letter G, and then you jump up here. Jump off Clapper. That's his name, Clapper. You get an exclamation point barrier, you get your little buddy, swim up here, you get some bananas, and you get the DK coin through that hidden wall. And then you want to swim up real fast before the exclamation time runs off. Bada bing, bada boom. And we get another coin, and we finish level, and we get to hear Dixie's sweet guitar out. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. That was my mother, as usual. The only thing she ever asks of me is to move 20 pounds of crap. I shouldn't say that, but, you know, it, it, it's kind of true. <laughs> I, I love my mother, but, you know, it's it's like, the only words that ever come out of her mouth, I swear, are just, can you move this for me? Uh, Alright, uh, yeah, I guess let's go to the college. I hope you're better behaved than those reptiles. Why are you even caught one sharpening his sword in class yesterday? Alright, so we got a bunch of... I'm surprised. I forgot how many of these are free. So Ratley the snake. Yeah, yeah. Oh! They actually tell you about that Ratley technique. I didn't know that. Funny. Because I don't think the game ever really expects you to use that. But maybe I'm wrong. It's more that it's just really helpful. Uh, rope climbing. Press and hold Y when you're on the ropes. And you'll climb up and down faster than normal. So basically... Just like everything in this game, hold Y and you go faster. So there's basically no reason ever to not hold Y. Kong letters, collect all of these on a level for an extra life. I can't believe they're telling them about you in the second world. Squid is web platforms. To create a web platform, press the A button or either of the top L or R buttons. Press the button again to stop the web. Form a platform in the desired position. These kind of tips are basically like if you see the big banana letters and you don't think to press the letter, which as a kid, I actually did not ever pay attention to those letters. I don't know why. It's just kind of one of those things. It's like I just see bananas in the shape of a Y, and I'm like, ooh, bananas. Like, so many things get told through those letters, and I just ignore them. Creme coins for every level you complete, or for every bonus level you complete. You get these. Collect a lot, and you can use them in Club's kiosk. Frankly, doing my job for me. Hey, guarding me. Hit cleaver quickly. Get to the other side before he gets angry. Once again. Doesn't really make sense right now, but you'll see. For how much they like, they like even spoil stuff. Jeez. Funny how you get spoiled at school, huh? Anyways, bananas, you go up here. Two banana coins. Oh, I forgot about the warp again. Well, whatever, I'll show it off after. Right across this, this is the gimmick of this level. We got hot air balloons and hot air streams. Uh. Actually, to make up for that, I'm going to show off the warp right now. Right up here. Right above the second little thing over here next to the K. Is your little warp barrel. Now, what's useful about getting this right now is that this means if you're, like, about to die, you can just start select out of the level and basically save your lives. Which I guess is kind of cheap, but, I mean, that's the game they made. I mean, this is back when, you know, if you start selecting a video game, you got to keep everything. Alright, I'm gonna get more coins again. I mean, might as well. I, I actually made the game lag there for like a second. That's funny. You could see like there was like a frame of animation that I kind of like skipped out. Lagging enough that like... So, if you don't know, the DK on that barrel is actually a separate sprite from the actual barrel. And that's why if you make the game lag enough, it'll actually start like desyncing it from the barrel. And that actually happens a lot on this level for some reason. I'm not sure what it is, but the gimmick of the lava, or the hot air balloons, it actually lags the game a bit. But yeah, you get Rambi here for some reason, because you know, rhinos love hot air balloons. Why are on these hot air balloons, uh, swiping doesn't actually make them leap up, so it's actually a lot easier, I guess, to do that. And what do you know, more phone calls, huh? Something's never changed, man. Anyways. But I mean, yeah, Rambi makes this significantly easier because you don't even have to care about anything, you just kill everything. That's basically Rambi in a nutshell in this game. Unlike in the first game when he only shows up like the first, well, Rambi shows up a lot in this game. In fact, every animal buddy does. I think uh, every animal buddy shows up three times in crate form and three times in barrel form, but I might actually be wrong about that. I actually forget. I, I, I counted it out, I've counted it out a couple times, but I always end up forgetting about one instance of them. 
Okay, anyways, we'll just back that guy and keep going across. I forgot how many banana coins there were. Well, I mean, to be fair, I've gotten a lot of repeats already, but still. And, uh, funny thing is, when you're on this hot air balloon, you can actually move while you're charging, which is actually kind of convenient. I think it's the only instance you can actually do that. Anyways, yeah, you break into that wall and you gotta beat up the baddies. And I mean, there's not much to say. Rami just jumps on everything. Do 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 do! Unlike the first game, there's no difference between which Kong Yao and you're riding, so. That's not an issue. You just ride normal. Who cares, right? I believe that if you're smart enough. So the way these signs work is they only are active while they're loaded. So it's actually possible uh, if you get hit in a certain way to whoa to take Rambi across here and kind of bring him to a level he's not supposed to be in. And uh, yeah, I completely forgot that the beetles can actually break out while you're holding them. I never held them long enough to see that. But yeah, as you can see here, uh, the way they spawn is noise synced. So because of the laggy nature of this level and the fact that this DK barrel is on a moving platform. It actually results in the DK thing being lower, and you can mess with this and see it in different positions. It's kind of, uh, I guess, a funny little detail. I think it depends on how fast you go on screen. Like, let me walk across. No, I guess it's always like that. Because it probably spawns around the same time as the hot air balloon, because they're in the same spot. Anyways, you can see the banana down there. So, you can take the uh, hot air balloon backward, but you can also just fly down there. Or if you're gutsy, you can even just roll jump down there with Diddy. It's not really that hard, to be honest. Holy shit! The phone's ringing again. This is all day for me, man, I swear. Anytime I get a day off, it's just phone calls non-stop. Anyways, uh, they, I, did they give me a DK mail? I don't remember. But, yeah, it's this is kind of bonus. Really easy if you use your partner. You just toss them straight up. You basically just get coins for free. Oh, shoot. Make it! Okay. We're good. <laughs> if he had missed that, I would have failed the bonus. So thankfully I didn't. Get out of here. Even though you're not bothering anyone, but you know. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to carry the barrel with Dixie because since she carries it above her, it won't really get hit as much, I don't think. Or no, actually, I might be wrong about that because there might be... Uh, there's a dragonfly here. So if you're carrying with Dixie, you have to kind of jump over this guy. The reason you want this barrel here, you don't actually need this. But it saves some time, because with this barrel, you can hit this top B, jump up to this N, and get the DK coin. Bada bing, bada boom, right? If you don't bring that DK barrel, you do get a second chance over here, because there's TNT right here. And you can bring this backward and toss it at the B again. But if you do that, then you get a chance to get this. And if you toss your barrel right, you take out two at once, because the TNT has a small area of effect. If I remember correctly, the area effect is actually not quite as pronounced in this game. In the in the sequel, there's actually a bigger area of effect, but um, it's still pretty small in these games. So the TNT barrels generally aren't that great because of that. But you know, whatever. Anyways, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I mean, what else is it to say about this level? It's straightforward. Just take these hot air balloons across. You gotta be careful. You have this little jumping section here, you kind of jump across, and you take this third one over here. You can pretty much do anything on these hot air balloons. If you don't know how these control, by the way, I guess I should have mentioned this. You just hold left and right, and when you're on the edge of it, you'll just, um, you'll, you'll stop moving, and then you can just keep going. And you can do pretty much anything on them, including crouch, actually. You can crouch on them. I think, actually, if I'm, no. For a second, I thought if you crouch on them, it actually makes you go faster down, but no. That's just uh, the way it looks. So yeah, here you want to like crouch and just kind of hold right. It's actually pretty forgiving as long as you go down. Because yeah, if you don't know, the lava here, purely aesthetic, you can just drop into it. I think I already mentioned this before, but you know, that's the case still. And yeah. Oh! They tricked me! I thought that there was the coins between the bananas, not coins between two bananas. Damn. That root beer, man, it's pretty good. Anyways, yeah, I'll show up the bonus here. Uh, I always forget where it is, kind of. I think it's... I always get mixed up, but I believe... Should be... Uh, right up in this corner, I believe? Yeah. It's just in the top somewhere. 
I always get mixed up where some of these are because they're pretty vague and I never really take them usually, but I mean, hey. I keep falling for that trick, it's the same one! God dang. Whatever. It's fine. I don't know if you can hear the water running because, you know, as usual, even though it's a nice quiet house and it's early in the morning, everyone has to be super loud. And it sucks. Back so soon, I thought you'd complete at least another level before you came crying to me. Say, so get more free tips. Below the first seal, you'll find something worth getting your fur burned for. So he tells you actually about the secret wall with the fanatic ones. I actually didn't know about that. Because, funny enough, that's one of those secrets I always forget about for some reason. I tend to forget about the, the walls. Like, the like non solid walls that don't have like bonus games hit by them. I always forget about those ones. Is it just my eyes or is there just one chest at the start? So yeah, once again, hinting about the bonus balloon. The dark chest. Take it easy, let the rhino use his head to get you through the first half. Once again, telling you about the thing we already showed, hot head hop. A trek towards the clobber with the spider is worth looking up. He tells you about the DK coin. Or no, he tells you about uh, the other bonus game. I didn't think, which, I mean, come on, there's bananas in the sky. That one shouldn't be hard to find. Right is right, right at the start. Cannon's clean. Yeah, he tells you about the bonus, which, once again, there's an arrow and bananas. Like, I feel like these should be really obvious, most of them. But some of them, like the one where he tells you about the coins, actually aren't. Squawk Chef, this is the level we're about to play. So, those two hook throwing villains, oh, those two hook throwing villains opposite each other are protecting something. I'm sure of it. Go out and set those stupid crocodiles. So, we'll actually see what he's talking about here in a sec. So this level, Squawk Shaft. So obviously this is all about squawks, right? Not quite. You don't actually see squawks for a while. So, <laughs> did you see that funny little detail? So when those guys are turning around, their hitboxes actually kind of go down a little bit. So you can kind of hit them. With Dixie? Oh, wow, I just forgot to press Y. Nice. But yeah, those guys are called, um, I forget actually what their names are. I believe they're called Hook? No, no, no. I always forget their name for some reason. I'm trying to remember right now. But you can see, they, basically, some of them walk around and some of them just kind of stay in one spot. And basically, as soon as they, like, get in range, they'll start throwing their hooks at you. What the hell is this guy's name? I, I cannot remember for the life of me. That's so weird. Whatever. Go down here, there's banana bunch, get an extra life because of it. It's nice. See all these jerks? You roll off them and you jump over here and you get a nice bonus game. Boom. Zingers are there to make sure you're not being lazy with your cannon shots and are actually shooting towards where you're supposed to shoot. This is another one of those games like the Pirate Mini game back in the day. So, yeah, you just keep throwing chests. You can actually get banana coin, which is pretty rare. You usually don't get anything in these. Especially not uh, coins. I think that's the only other one in the game. I want to say the only other one I can think of is uh, the one in the first one of the game actually funny enough but there might actually be a couple instances I'm forgetting about I don't know I don't keep track of that stuff as well as I think I do if it's not like a main like secret then I tend to forget but yeah so they have a bit of a cooldown time so if you just wait you can get this chest and realize you killed the other one and you can't use the chest anymore crud sucks. I think that's just like, um, actually, what is in this one? I might actually, you know what? Help me out here, buddy. Extra life. Yeah, that was worth it. I mean, I have plenty already, but, you know, whatever. Oh! I shot off. That sucked. The funny thing is, it may look like I screwed up the shot, but what it actually was, was for some reason that B made me think I had to shoot left. I don't know why. So you can see we're already at the midpoint, we haven't reached squawks yet. But uh, so yeah, you notice there's a barrel over there, so what you want to do is uh, realize you need a partner to get that barrel, and you realize you've screwed up. But thankfully that's not actually an issue, because what I can do is I believe this guy's actually delayed, and it's funny. So you can just roll over here, and eventually you should be able to... Yeah, you can drop down onto this and get the bonus. You normally need a partner for that. I thought that was a necky you can jump off of, but it doesn't matter. Just roll onto it. Actually, if you roll, you don't even need the first barrel, because of, uh, you can just fly onto it. I mean, I basically had to avoid it on purpose. Still. Yeah. So, 
I, I've been kind of bringing this up slowly throughout the game, but if, if you haven't noticed, your hitboxes are actually tied to your frames of animation. Which is something that not a lot of people realize, and for, I've been watching someone else play the first game, and the second something like weird like that happened, they were like, oh, bad hitbox. The, the way it works is that your hitboxes are actually constantly changing. They're tied to your freedom animation, like I said. So when Dixie's running, she goes lower to the ground, and that actually uh, affects the way her hitbox. She will actually be able to run under certain things because of that. And that's like that for everything. Like when you crouch, for example, you actually go slightly um, to the left when you're like crouching forward. Like if you crouch and you're facing this direction, the way I am right now, you would go slightly backward and potentially get hit, I guess. But I mean, if you're that close to something, you know, that's probably your fault. So if you haven't noticed already, what you're supposed to do with these guys, you're supposed to like fly up like this. But funny enough, you can kind of clip through these platforms and like. Uh, just hit through them and it's actually like way safer because they can't hit you when you're doing this You can't always do this because sometimes they're a little close to the sides of the screen uh, The way you're you can just like fly past those neckies, but if you're gutsy enough you can kind of just like uh, Just like try to kill them, but yeah, these are the ones I'm talking about I, Those ones you can do it too, but it's really close and if you go over to the side of this, which I guess your indication is the fact that this platform is also there, so it's kind of like a sandwich. You fly up here to where you get a DK coin and a bonus. This one's quite a well-hidden thing, and you also get some coins up here. This one's quite a rewarding secret, actually. And I, never, and I guess that's uh, probably on purpose, because it's kind of vague that it's there. Like, your indication is basically just that, like, there's two of them. Oh! Actually, now that I think about it, I thought the, the ones that Cranky was talking about were the ones that were hiding the chest, but those are the ones hiding the thing. So Cranky tells you about that one. I'm just an idiot. But yeah, the only the other indication is the fact that, yeah, there's two there, and it's kind of like a weird, like, sandwich spot where they are. So you get three coins just for coming over. But yeah, like, you can see, like, because, like, there's a bunch of extra platforms, whoa. So normally you have to fly past this cannon, but once again, you can just shoot him from the side and it's way easier. I figured that out as a kid too. I actually always thought that's what you were supposed to do. I don't know why. As a kid, I just, I guess that's just how it was. <laughs> and so yeah, you get the thing here. And this is another one of those things where if you don't have the G, uh, you can't get an extra life here. Normally I'd go for the coins, but I don't really need to buy anything else, so. Oh! Boom! We got the G. And we have all the Kong letters and we're good. Ba -do -ba -do 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 -do. <sighs> now we'll show off the uh... I don't need that cape and I guess I'll get the point. So the bonus game, bonus warp right over there. You jump fly over to a barrel, it shoots you to another barrel and that barrel warps you. And I believe that's every meaningful secret in this world. Uh, as far as I know, I shouldn't have missed anything. Gee, I love when we play like five seconds we have half the letters, because they're both right at the start and at the end. Uh, I, I always look over, um, maps after I finish these parts to make sure I'm not, like, missing anything. Because I, I try to do these off of just memory alone, but sometimes it's like, I don't always know where everything is. So, sometimes, that's why I did those bonus episodes in the first game. But in this, this one, I, I know this game uh, better, so it shouldn't be... Wow, that was horrible. So yeah, you can see this is Cleaver. He shoots fireballs at you. You're supposed to like just jump over them. I tried to cheese it by going up top. He'll aim at you when you're up top, but like it's easier to dodge them. Instead, I got hurt instantly, and now I have to do this entire fight as Diddy alone. Which is just great, because it's going to make this part a little tricky. Because when you hit him for the third time... It drops down and like the little lava hand that's holding him uh, isn't happy anymore and lets go of it and now you have to like ooh jump over and it's kind of weird the time I can't I can show these but it can't collect them there's two coins up there just like in crow's nest and I think that a lot of bosses actually have two hidden banana coins somewhere in level I think the only one that doesn't is the next one that we're about to fight That cannonball took a lot longer to come down than I expected it to. Well, that's the first... Is that the first death? 
I think that is, but whatever. That's fine. I'll actually get to collect those coins now, and this time I won't be an idiot and get hurt right away. I'm gonna switch to Dixie because Dixie makes this much faster because you can just jump off the second one, just pull across, pull across more, and bada bing bada boom. Ooh, oh man, I got <gasps> stomach gas. Well, it's not really <gasps> Yeah, it's, it's just my hiccups as you can. So this is when you really want a team throw up here, because when you're up here, he'll follow you up here, and then you can just kind of wait for him to wheel back and just drop down. Now he's way over there, and you can get easy, t have an easy time just coming over here, and you can pick up this banana. So what you want to do, like I said, so the cannonball during this section is, is on a timer, so what you want to do is kind of delay by just kind of floating around, kind of just staying to the edge of these platforms, and then gonna quickly run over here once again I'm gonna flap my hair drop down he gets hit Dixie kind of stays in the animation for a second because when you get hit them for the final time you freeze and you can't move anymore I'm pressing all the buttons the game won't let me hey you get your corner so yeah that was fun anyways yeah that's all for crocodile collision so we're gonna save and quit here uh, so each of those levels, I guess, takes you to each of those clubs takes you to an extra level. I'm gonna do all those at the end of the game. I'm gonna spend all my coins at once, just because I think most people I know always do them kind of as soon as they're available. But I want to show them off all at once because that way we can kind of appreciate the appreciate them a bit more. It's also kind of a difficulty spike because they are treated as like the final world, like a bonus extra world. So they're pretty tricky. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna save the game here. We got 20 coins. Uh, we've been playing for almost an hour now. We have 28%, 24 coins, and 10 DK coins. Just so you know, 40 DK coins throughout the whole game. So we're about, yeah, 28% is a pretty good estimation. We're about a quarter done. We have 24 of 75 creme coins though, so we have a bit more than, uh, a bit less than a third of them. So yeah, 28% is definitely a good number. Anyways. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. For now. Be careful now, cons.